Okay, we're gonna make another one. This one's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna make this without the lead eyes, or the, uh, not the lead eyes, but the bead chain eyes. I don't like to use lead eyes. Uh, what I'm gonna do is put a little super glue on the hook, and I'm gonna wrap the hook in lead wire. So it's gonna be weighted, but weighted in a different way. Usually I just do one wrap somewhere around the middle half of the hook. Leave a little space at the front and a little space at the back. And then I'm gonna cover that in thread. See, I put a little super glue down first. That keeps it all together. I'll cover this wrapping good with thread. I'm gonna make a green woolly bugger now. And um, I'm gonna be trying to make it look a little bit like a crayfish. I'm gonna put a little pinch of red hackle just in the tail, just a few hackle fibers. Just give it a little tag tail of red. Then I'm gonna tie in my marabou. Green marabou. Now you, you don't always have to have the same color tail and the same color body. I caught some great steelhead on a on a woolly bugger that had pink chenille body, black marabou tail, white hackle in the front. So it depends on what kind of fishing you're doing, what they're after, but these ones sort of kind of match the hatch woolly buggers. Now what do I do with my little bit of green flashaboo? Again, just a couple of pieces is all you need, two or three pieces. Tie in on either side. Just to give it that little bit of flash. A little attraction quality. Tie them on one side, flip it around, tie them on the other side. So that's the tail. I'm going to put in a hackle, but this time I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to put this, I'm going to use this green chenille, which has a little bit of flashaboo in it. Just cut a short piece. I should use the whole strand, it's less wasteful, but I'm going to tie in the chenille. This is a special chenille, what do they call this stuff? I don't know, Antron or something. It's got a little bit of um, flashaboo in it. Do some nice careful wraps up to about the middle and then tie it off, leave it hanging there and then put in my hackle, cut off the fuzzy bits at the, at the big end. Tie that right in here. I'll do a bunch of turns right here so I have a lot of hackle fibers right in the middle of the fly. Tie it off, then I'm going to bring the rest of that hackle up to the front. Just let it stick out the front like that for later use. Now I'm going to grab this hackle and try and separate it in two bunches. Bring it around like that. Or actually, try and bring it all back and then separate it into two little wings sticking out. It's just to give it this kind of crayfish look. Two little bunches sticking out like that. Continue on with the chenille. Tie off the chenille. And cut that. We don't need any more of that. And then the last little bit is to tie this down few turns in the front, like so, right up near the eye of the hook, tie it off, sweep it all back, and tie the head off on the fly. And this will give you a, a, a woolly bugger, kind of, that looks like, a, kind of like a crayfish in the water. In New Zealand, in Lake Taupo, we have a lot of crayfish. 
And this is the way I was tying my flies for years, many decades, um, when I was using standard New Zealand patterns like green hairy dog, red hairy dog, um, the one I invented called Louis Lure. This is a Louis Lure here, which is basically fluorescent pink, fluorescent peach, and everything else is white, white tail, white hackle. This one I put bead chain eyes on it to make it sink, but same basic idea. Half hitches or whip finish, whatever you want to do. Cut that off. Break off the extra hackle. And maybe hit it with a little bit more super glue right on the head just so it doesn't come undone. Or you can use head cement if you're a traditionalist. But it's a woolly bugger, but it's meant to look more like a crayfish. And with flies like this, you can catch just about everything. From bass to striped bass to tropical species, even bonefish will take these things. Walk the plank.